My name is Evgenia Gilstein and I am contributing to the development of printed electronics with my innovative processing technique for thin film materials, specifically to circuits that need to be as flexible and conformable as possible. How can my technique impact the field of printed electronics and how could this translate to sustainable solutions in applications that cannot be fulfilled by conventional rigid electronics? In this video, I will give you insights into the many applications of my innovation. Our world is becoming more and more connected. It calls for devices that can be implemented in any field or circumstances in order to collect or transmit the data. Flexible and printed electronics are becoming an important branch in the field of electronics and could lead to sustainable solutions. This because they have a transformative impact on next-generation electronics and open up a wide range of exciting new applications, such as flexible lightning, display technologies for consumer electronics, wearables with sensors that help monitor our health, or implantable electronics for improved medical imaging and diagnostics. As a child, I wanted to become first a doctor, then an artist. And now, finally, I found my passion in material science, where I can design materials for human device interfaces. At Ampa's lab for thin films and photovoltaics, I am using nanomaterials in the form of the inks for the development of mechanically flexible devices. I was able to investigate the combination of digital printing and annealing methods for creating touch sensors, which now act as interface between skin and non-living objects. Now I seek to broaden the application range and I want to add a biodegradability feature. Therefore, the main challenge is to create material systems with all these features. They need to be transparent, mechanically durable and at the same time environmentally friendly. All of this without compromising the performance of the device. At EMPA's Coating Competence Center, we are able to demonstrate the implementation of printed electronics, such as for protective coatings, sensors and transistors, which have unique features. For example, they can be lightweight, flexible and invisible. We developed an invisible, flexible keypad as a door lock, which authorizes only persons familiar with the position of the lock and knowing the security access code. Recently, I also worked on the fabrication of ultra-thin film air-light structures for conformable sensors and energy harvesting devices. I plan now to apply these findings and pursue a collaboration with the Sustainability Robotics Lab at EMPA, as these features can be a benefit for the new generation of lightweight and biodegradable environmental robots and drones.